In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the rear ABS speed sensor on your Cadillac Escalade. It's located right behind the rear wheel. The process for the driver's side is the same as the passenger side. Using your trim tool, you want to go ahead and locate the notch on your center cap. Get on in there and lift that off. Remove the center cap. Go ahead and use a 22 millimeter socket. Go ahead and loosen and remove the lug nuts. We use our locking key. Remove this lug nut. With the lugs removed, go ahead and remove the wheel and set it aside. Now on the back side of our axle tube here, right behind the back wheel, is where our ABS speed sensor comes into the axle tube itself. Now there's a Torx bit right here. Uh, this is a T27 Torx bit. So we're gonna use that with our quarter inch ratchet. I want to go ahead and loosen and remove this. And we did spray it down with some rust penetrant. Now the sensor itself is pressed into the tube. We're gonna use a pair of pliers. We're gonna grab the bottom here and we're just gonna gently work this back and forth. Now sometimes these can be fragile. The plastic can crack. In our case here, ours is moving okay. We can move it by hand back and forth. And what we're doing is just breaking free any rust that might be kind of securing that. The next thing we want to do is we want to twist this while removing it. It's going to make it a little bit easier for us to access it. So we're going to use our pocket screwdriver and try and get underneath and work this out of the axle tube. Now as you work on this here, you can spray some more rust penetrant on the inside here. I'm gonna use a little pocket screwdriver and get underneath the edge here and twist it back and forth, pulling it out. And there's our sensor right there. I'm gonna use a towel here, clean off the face for the axle tube. There's a little O-ring on this here that seals that and keeps that secured into the tube and keeps any moisture or anything from getting in and keeps the oil from coming out. Now, if you follow the sensor up, there is a plastic retainer right here. We're gonna use our trim tool. I'm gonna get behind here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out. Follow up to the next one up top here. Follow the harness up to the top side of the frame here. We're going to use our trim tool and we're going to separate that little connector going into the frame here. That's going to allow us to gain access to the connector right here. Now this has a little red locking tab on it. We're going to push up on that red lock tab. Press down on this little black tab right here and we're going to separate the connector. Here we have it. Move that sensor. Go ahead and take your connector. You're going to line that up and it only fits in one way. So you're going to push that in. Just feel it pop in and snap in and then press down on the red lock tab to secure that in place. 
install your little push pins into the top side of the frame to lock it in. Install the tab here into the frame. Install this tab into this lower portion here. We're going to go ahead and take our sensor, line that up into the hole, and push that in. Once that's seated, line up that hole. We'll put a little bit of blue Loctite on the threads here. Go ahead and get that screw started. I like to thread it in as far as I can by hand. Now let's go ahead and snug it down. Once that's bottomed out, just give it a little bit more. And there it is. Go ahead and install your wheel. Let's get our lug nuts installed. Once you have all the lug nuts on, go ahead and snug them down. Torque down your lug nuts to 140 foot-pounds. Once you're done with that, take your center cap, line that up, and pop it on. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.